guys today we are back in my old room at my parents house to film this video and I just wanted to have a little chat with you guys about something that's been on my heart lately it feels like fall today so I'm wearing this fall sweater because Minnesota is being very odd and it feels like fall but I am not mad about it so basically what I wanted to talk about was kind of the idea of always having to be like the world standard of pretty enough, fit enough, sexy enough, whatever it may be, but it's just so much focused on the external. And I was just thinking about that the other day of like down to the clothes that, you know, we wear, the swimsuits we wear, or the things that we feel like we're supposed to wear or supposed to look like or whatever it is. I feel like so much emphasis is put on our external and being blank enough. And it's not focusing on our hearts and who we are in our heart of hearts. It's not focusing on, you know, our calling, our purpose, our identity from Christ. It's coming from are you a sexy enough girl? Is your like body look like this or that? Is your hair this or that? Do you have the perfect skin, perfect clothes, perfect makeup, perfect body shape that fits what's in right now? All those different things I feel like are just like screaming in our minds of do I look like this? Do I have this thing? Whatever. And I was just thinking the other day actually as I was sitting on my bed and I was wearing these like super baggy jeans and a really baggy t-shirt and I was just so comfy like in my ponytail and in my baggy stuff and I got me it got me thinking about how like life has become so much about looking a certain way and being like hot enough sexy enough whatever it is instead of just being and then having your heart and your soul and who you are as a person, who you are in Christ be the thing that matters. And I just, I've always had a heart for this. If you guys know me at all, if you've listened to any of my videos about this, I've always had a heart for girls and for self-esteem, body image, identity in Christ, all those types of things. But I just feel like we're bombarded, especially at this time with social media and all these things, with just, having to hit this certain look and having to focus so much on being that certain thing that our mind gets so distracted with that opposed to the things that actually matter and the things that actually have purpose and are important in God's eyes and I just wanted to pull up kind of what I said on Instagram because I felt it just it, it puts it so clearly basically my thoughts. So much of the world seems to be about being sexy or pretty or fit or whatever. Um, and there's all this external emphasis, but it's not, there's a lack of importance placed on how we treat people, how we love people, how we help people, um, how we show Jesus, how we share Jesus and just who we actually are in our heart of hearts. That's kind of where I was thinking of just like this kind of lack of importance on the things that actually are important and so much emphasis on the parts of this life that actually aren't important. So I just wanted to point out that Jesus has made each person unique, has made them with purpose, a calling, has made them, made them with unique features, a unique appearance, has made them with different talents, different um, joys and things that they love, different personality traits. There's a verse that I love to remind myself and it says, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. So I just wanted to come on here and point you guys back to the truth, back to Jesus, back to what truly matters because it's just so easy to get caught up in all these other things. But when you are pointed back to Jesus, when you're looking at yourself and others through his lens, all these kind of worldly pressures fade away. And we're left with this like freedom and peace and joy um, that comes from God, that can only come from God. Because 
in this world, we're not going to be satisfied. Things are ever changing. Uh, standards of what's good enough are changing. Desires change. The level you're supposed to reach in XYZ change. And the thing about this world is that even when you reach XYZ, then what? There's always this kind of search for more because nothing can truly satisfy except for Jesus. And in this world, we're constantly trying to get the perfect body or get the perfect skin or whatever it may be to just make you feel like, okay, I've done it, I'm here, I've got it. But then once you've got it, but then, oh, but if I just had these clothes to go with this or if I just had this or if I just had that, there's always this kind of need for more and this emptiness and this last lack of satisfaction that comes with trying to achieve worldly things. And I just wanted to do a brief video. I didn't want this to be super long, but I've just been really convicted and feeling this on my heart. And I feel like when I feel this way, God wants to work. And there's something Jesus wants to be doing in my heart, in others' hearts. And I feel like a big part of my passion is identity in Jesus and finding your worth in him and finding you know, confidence through who he's made you to be. Not because of what you look like, but because of who he's made you to be. And that just because you're a child of him, that's where your worth just is. You've already got worth because of that. And you don't have to achieve these things to get more worth. In the world, there are gonna be these things that you feel pressured that you have to do, that you have to get to, that you have to be in order to be accepted and to feel important and to feel valuable. And I think that's just such an empty road because those things are temporary. Those things don't actually matter. And when we're just striving and striving and striving for earthly reward, we're left so empty because that's not what we're designed to do. We're designed to be chasing after God's heart, to be chasing after the kingdom and heavenly and eternal rewards and eternal gain. That's what we are here for. And I just, I think it's easy to see social media, to see every fitness person, every model, every whatever that looks this certain way and then all of a sudden you feel like you have to be those all of those things or you're not even on the scale of importance and i just want to point you to that that's the lie of this world that if you aren't xyz you aren't even on the scale of being worthy and important and beautiful and loved and all of those things but god says that he has uniquely, fearfully, and wonderfully made each and every one of us on this earth. He has uniquely designed a purpose and a calling for each of his children and that every single person on the earth is a child of the king, every single one. And I think that, it, that we need to refocus on that, that we need to remember who created us, why are we here, what is our true purpose, because I used to be someone that insecurity and appearance and all those things took over my entire life. I was so insecure, I would sob getting ready because I hated how I looked so much that I would sob, I'd fall apart day after day after day. But I was searching for worthiness and self-esteem and all of that and my worth and my identity in physical traits and in worldly things when when I turned to Jesus and I looked in the Bible and I read what he said about me my identity was no longer rooted in changing worldly physical traits but it was rooted in Christ who does not change his love for you doesn't change based on anything about you he doesn't care if you gain weight he doesn't care if you don't fit the mold of these beautiful people that you think are supposed to look like or act like or whatever it may be God has created you with so much purpose that he specifically wove you together created cell by cell exactly how he wanted 
you to be. And I feel like when we switch our focus to the creator of the world loved and cared about me enough and found enough purpose and worth in me to fearfully and wonderfully make me and he has a unique calling and purpose for my life and this world is temporary and the kingdom is forever and Jesus is forever and Jesus is constant and he is unchanging and the way his eyes view me is unchanging that creates this sense of empowerment, security, worth, identity. And now when you look in the mirror and you see cellulite or you see acne or you've gained weight or whatever, your body changes or your body doesn't fit what you want it to do or whatever it is, suddenly those things now don't take your worth away. They don't make you sad. They don't make you feel less than because your worth is already secure in the Lord. And I just wanted to if I can bring our eyes back to that because I just have been feeling it tug on my heart lately. I mean, I see so many people and myself included. I am not separate from things that everybody deals with. We all get caught up in wanting to look a certain way, be a certain way, whatever it is, but rewiring our brains and our eyes back to Jesus is what truly gives you purpose in life. That's where satisfaction lies. That's where fulfillment is. It's not an empty road. It is a road that is with Jesus. So it's full and it's flourishing and it's fruitful and it gives us security and it gives us identity and worth. And that is just, it's what I want for every single girl, every single guy. That's what I want. And I know that Jesus is working in this world, but we need to fight for Jesus to be the center of this world and the center of our hearts because this world is sinful and fallen and Jesus slips away in a lot of areas and we need to make him our center, our everything. I wanna say it's not wrong to wanna to be beautiful and wanna feel sexy and wanna be sexy to your husband. Like that's not wrong. That's a human thing. That's a womanly thing. What I'm talking about is when you're constantly just trying to be those things for the approval of everyone else and to give yourself a sense of worth and identity and everything about you and your importance is rooted in those things. But I just wanted to hop on here quick, have a little chat about something that was on my heart and these videos tend to be scattered and just uh, I don't plan them I just want to talk about these things because I feel like if I plan them they might come off too preachy or too I don't know I don't I don't want to read off notes for a talk like this that I've just had in my heart I just want to talk about it and I just feel like it's important to kind of fix our eyes back on Jesus amidst all all the things in the world it's important to root ourselves back to Jesus and I just felt convicted about this and I wanted to share about this so if there's somebody that needed to hear this I feel like Jesus is going to do some work in all of us and I just wanted to come on here and have a little quick chat so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you can also go ahead and follow my Instagram if you want to. Thank you guys for hanging with me and having this chat. I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.